Ryan, like, probably PR the season in New Jersey. He's on point. Yeah, jumping right back into the, the set, though. I think this is a matchup that, like, Aegis does really well in, but Palu, obviously, really well-rounded character, has a lot of great tools, and... Oh, okay, so Yeah, fine. great foresight. Yeah, I, I played uh, Aegis a little bit in my time, so I know this matchup is, like, almost dead even, or, like, if anything, Aegis favor, right? Both these players can definitely pull it out, but Joshton knows his matchup like the back of his hand. Right, that's what that's, he's uh, one of the re main reasons that he picked up Aegis, obviously, because he liked the game. And that uh, a matchup like this, he really doesn't like playing Cloud King and the Rob. And he's playing super well already. He knows when to use that foresight, when to avoid that. But of course, getting your roll called out like that is not doing you any favor starting out this game. Yeah, I think um, something that's really important to remember here is that Aegis probably has the advantage on stage, but off stage, auto, things like auto reticle, things like just run off Nair can absolutely destroy Aegis off stage. I'm really. It's cool to see players who are like, in the past, Ooh. really great call out from Mateo. It's cool to see players that are like, known for being like, character specialists, like, develop counter picks and actually like, have the confidence to bring them out of Oh yeah. And shout out to Josh and the Gamer, and shout out to that up air from Pyro killing at 130, really strong, and Mateo now has to make up this lead. Mateo trying to make it back here, nice, that down throw, and I will find that up, unfortunately. You see that dash stack, looking to close the stock here. No down tilt, instead of fighting the back, that's the Mateo classic, honestly. Going for the down tilt to immediate back throw, and the back air comes out. Very yeah. clean, I'll close it up from uh, Mateo. Yeah, great picker from Mateo. And you can tell, I mean, we might not have many Aegis mains out here in New Jersey, but Mateo just showing he knows his stuff. And I mean, the matchup definitely, like, Aegis, for how really good and honestly broken Aegis is, not a very weird character at all, very oh, straightforward. Yeah. And Mateo incredibly fundamentally sound player with great awareness and he's just playing around this so well. Listen bro, I'd rather fight 10 ages before I fight a weekly trainer. Or some goofy character like that. I live in New like York that. City. <laughs> I, <laughs> comment, I commentate John Numbers every week. Oh, great juggle here from Mateo. Golly. This is kind of what happens with a lot of Aegis players where they'll switch, they'll switch to Pyra thinking like it's the right time. But as soon as you switch to Pyra, your opponent gets to play the game again and I mean Pyra so floaty, really big combo food, and Mateo took that all the way to the bank, and now just keep on increasing this lead. Oh yeah, Mateo playing super well right now. Up 41% on Josh, and Josh looking to get his Mithra combo started himself. Was not able to land much of these Pyra uh, side beats already. That catching these, well, every time Josh has switched to Pyra, Mateo has been on top of the punishes here, even with the relative safety of those Pyra arrows on shield. Find to up air again, but not able to find much off of that. Josh finds another F tilt. Yeah, as someone who plays a lot, oh, what? the train. that landed? Yeah, the the hitbox on um, the hitbox on Pyro Neutral B is massive, and it's also like a pretty lagless move. Really great mix up and like a good landing option. I think that Joshathan is like he's going into Pyro too much, and he's like I think he should only be going into Pyro when he has like very clear defined advantages. Oh yeah, because like Mithra is the way that you give yourself a positional advantage, right? Like you. <laughs> Get your hits with your sword, you use like foresight or whatever, and then you go to Pyro here. The first blazing and finally. Oh, wait a minute. Footstool oh. doesn't hit the down air though, and Mateo just teleporting out of there. Very clean setup from Josh, not able to find that just yet. Trying to catch that back foot there by Mateo with the forward air. Mateo comes immediately back up the fair to his own. No back air just yet. Josh is trying to land away from those Palatina up airs he's been struggling with. Just back to Pyro, can he close the stock here? Oh, yeah. he's supposed oh, to frame. Side these from both players, but. Mm. That was, that was kind of funny. They both hit Sivy at the same time, but Palutena's just eking out there. Mateo spacing better. Too clean, as he likes to call himself. Too clean. I love that. Too clean. That. Also, Mateo, I think so recently, simple. Mateo recently got the Medify too, I think. So. Oh, yo, yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, go behavior. So, I mean, shout out to him and. Go hop on the Medify, bro. I would definitely get Oh, no, Mateo now. also, I mean, I mean, I haven't talked to Josh then, because I'm New Jersey, New York, but Mateo, really chill guy to talk to. Explains thing really well. I'll vouch for him any day of the week. Josh gonna... not can confirm that he's a terrible person. That's what I've she heard. never talks to him. Wow, from who? No, I just I know wow. I know I know he's a meme. I know he's a meme. That's all. Wow. Yeah, you Philly people love to talk behind your own players, but no, I'm talking on commentary, but he's gonna watch this vod back. You're right. He's gonna message me like, yo, <laughs> what yo, the hell, man? what was this about? <laughs> what was this about? Yeah, running it back to PS2 here though. I think Josh then like. Definitely figuring out a little bit more. He just, I think he just needs to focus a bit more on like playing solidly and like not going for these greedy swings. Great shield grab though. And I think Mateo just playing his game. He's chilling. 
Yo, Jostin's Mithra is playing so well. I feel like every, he's only losing when he switches to the Pyra, like you said, right? Yeah. The Pyra side are being way too overzealous, but this Mithra is on point here. See, like, oh, he already gives up the... Oh, nice with the... Uh, oh, something comes back on to up air. It's not going to do it just yet. Yeah. Okay, looking to find a punish there on the landing. Dash tag. It's... Oh, nice air dodge from Jostin. Finally landing a side being control. Yeah, Mateo, I mean, he he always gets conversions with these, like, side B into up air conversions. Joshathan's Pyra is, like, I think he's slowly finding his footing here. Mateo, I mean, I've played Mateo myself with, like, other, like, slow sword characters, and he's very adept at playing around those, but I think Joshathan is figuring out uh. that... Yeah, great back air from Mateo, though. Joshathan is figuring out, like, when to be Pyra... But I hope he figures it out fast enough, because in the best of three, down a game, you don't have that much time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, the thing that people for tend to forget with Tyra Mithra is that while Mithra has a very good advantage, he's a very quick character, his defensive game is also very cracked, right? Sometimes you need to take a little bit of a back foot, realize that, hey, Mateo is commanding a lot of this game. I need to take a step back. If I go in with another move, he's going to take my stock. Yeah. That's exactly what you need to do. As the, Speak of the devil. Joshua finds it up smash out of shield and even up the stock down. Yeah, great pickup on the platform from Joshua. Then both of these players are just finding kills literally out of the air. I think um, Joshua then is definitely using Mithra. The fact that Mithra has a sword means that you can be like offensively defensive and you can just sort of chill, right? And I think Joshua then is like slowly figuring out like when he's retreating, he can also just be swinging, right? And yeah. The more hip, the more disjoints you have out against Palutena, the better. Because that's one of the weaknesses she has as a character. Oh, yeah, definitely. Jostin trying to set up a combo here with the side Bs. Yeah. Just back to Mithra. Okay, nice. Always back to the Mithra there, keeping that pressure on. Still, we're still back on the Pyro, trying to the side B. Finally finds that there, gets Mateo off stage. No punish with that forwarder just yet. Oh, the ledge trump with the up yeah. into the up smash. What an option for Josh. Yeah, Very and good stuff. Mateo has definitely been looking for so many of these down airs, and he's gotten punished for all but one or two, I think. I also want to see, I mean, Palutena down B as a counter is also a reflector, and I'd love uh. to see, Okay, she just went past that. Oh, oh. of course, into the blast zone. Oh, he, he missed it back. Yeah. He's I, oh, oh, no. Back, back I want to see Mateo maybe try here on this last stock, save the information, maybe go for like a reflector call out on Blazing Ed. Oh. Mateo starting on here the Nair combos to double up here, 48%. Nothing to scoff at here. Josh and finally landing into a dash tag. Double dash tag. The Mithra combos are absolutely insane. He gets that damage right back and then some. The, getting some juggles of his own. Can he close the stock here? Then? Oh, not just yet with the Pyra. Yeah. I think Mateo definitely, like, starting to feel the pressure. This is unsafe. Oh. Yeah. And Big there's... Oh! Oh, goes for the ledge slip Nair there. Oh, but... Oh no. A greedy trying to punish from Joshua then, and this could just be death. Oh. Oh! Just barely avoiding that F smash. Yeah, I thought that he would get like the wind box, uh -oh. but not quite. Still alive there. Nice DI from Josh and they avoid the back air on that down throw. Getting hauled there by that narrow to make it back to ledge. Going for the up yeah, Going for the ledge, like I assume he went for the first time. Oh, drag down there. I assume he's going for an up tilt or an F tilt of swords. Finds that side B there. Can you find the ledge trap here to close out the game? Oh, nice dash attack yeah. out of the corner, Mateo. Using Palutena's invincible dash attack to just rip it out of the corner. Oh. A back air, calls out the jump out of shield. Great play from Josh at them, but Mateo, you know, defending his state, showing his stuff as, I mean, one of the favorites to go far in the tournament for sure. Really great showing from Josh at them, great adaptations from both players. Oh, yeah. It just sort of felt like, I mean, maybe Josh at them's... I mean, obviously a Rob Main, as we saw earlier, maybe his inexperience with Aegis showing a little bit, right? Like, taking a while to find his footing, not sure which blade to use where, necessarily. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we said, like, he was picking up the pieces slowly but surely towards the end. Yeah. Not going for that side B a little bit too errantly. Yeah. But just, there were certain options from Joshin that just screamed to me, like, yo, like, relax. Yeah. Calm down. You're playing Pyre and Mithra. You have the safety to play this game. He was given a second lease on life there. Yeah, for sure. he just got hopped up a little bit too much. Yeah. And just Mateo took that. He, a, a really good player like Mateo is going to notice those things. You're getting way too aggressive and saying, all right, give me that, bro. You, you lost your chance. This is my set to win. No, exactly. I will say, though, like, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me, like, if this was, like, a best of five set, like, if Josh had then won game three or something. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, he was definitely figuring out as it went, but... The nature of these early rounds at locals, I mean, even like later rounds, as you know, Fusion so packed, we have to run a lot of best of three, but you don't have that much time, and if your game plan's not solid enough at the start, you just, you can just, you know, get checked at the very end of the corner, and Mateo, every time he got an opportunity, he just took it to the bank, like.
Apple oh. Reviewer empties! Who's ready to review some apples? Am I crazy for saying I think Apple Reviewer is like low-key, like, kind of favored to win this given his recent results? And given the fact that Beast kind of just Listen, like... listen. All I'm gonna say is that... <laughs> oh, there we go! He's reviewing that apple! Yo, give me the review! Yeah. I, I, I bet that was a good apple. He was smiling after he, that. Um, yeah, he... Apple Reviewer, notorious for Apple's beast shaking his head on the player cam. As you told me earlier, though, Apple Reviews are using the same me setup as some Yeast. Shout out to Yeast. And right? Yeast is 2 one Beast? Yeah, right? two, yeah, the last two sets they played, they played twice within the last like week or so, or I think two, two weeks. weeks or so. And he lost at Bears and he lost at Fusion yeah. on Monday. And I mean, I know Beast, I mean, I know he also, like, he lo he's had a hard time with, like, characters, like, Similar to me, Brawler, like, also, I know he lost, like, Sauce's Mario, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. At Bears.